Hi, everyone. Hey, How guys. Oh, my gosh. What happened to the chat, Nancy? There it is. To, I had to bring up the thing. Um, hey, guys. How are you doing? Um, how was your holiday? How was your holiday? We haven't seen you since Christmas. Uh, <laughs> we haven't been doing anything that exciting. To, We've done nothing. I mean, you explained it the best, so why don't you explain? I'm not explaining. No, I'm just saying those days between Christmas and New Year's never exist. Nothing ever happens. You don't know, like you're in this vortex where time stands still. I mean, am I wrong? No. You, no one sleeps. You have crazy insomnia. You have anxiety because you're thinking about, oh my God, I was supposed to do that last year because you're yeah. thinking about your new, new yeah. year's resolution. Sorry if we're on like a really weird angle right now. Wait, what are you doing? I don't know. Like, I think Nancy's going? having vertigo right now. I don't know. Where are you having like, vertigo? Stephanie and I, I don't, I thank God the mic is um, muted when the credits go, when the 30 seconds go, because boy, was she screaming at me. <laughs> um, See, it's not it straight. Okay, what are you? You did this for Halloween. I do you know. want to go back? It just drives me. Don't nuts. don't do it, man. Yeah, okay. just get closer to me. She did. Don't you know what? Girl. It's you got to get closer. There you go. Okay. She has these glasses that have glare, and we discussed this before. Somebody said, "Well, how come Nancy's always in the light and Stephanie isn't?" And I think they think I'm purposely doing this to you. I'm really not. So Happy New Year, Kara. How are you? Hi, Kelly. Happy New Year. Uh, got sick Christmas Eve just coming no. right. Oh, hi, Barbara. I hope you're feeling better. Feeling better. Did we get a new program? Everything looks different. I, I can see it. people's uh, faces now. I changed it because um, it's the new year. And see I see all your beautiful and I, faces. I like it a little bit better. So um, I just, yeah. And I, this is your show too. We said this when we started the show that this is a community show and and everyone is involved and we loved meeting everyone this year. And, and I think 2024 is going to be even we better. We do another drinking game. Um, oh. We are going to do another drinking game. We're going to try tomorrow to celebrate every new year, starting with Australia. Oh, God. Um, are we really doing this? This is the problem. Hi, Marsha. If we start drinking, we're not going to make it till midnight. God, no. I, I mean, I feel absolutely I, I was no talking way. to a friend yesterday. She was like, I'm in bed by six. She's like, I'm in bed by six. I mean, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, every time I sit. <laughs> oh, oh, she, she stops when she. <laughs> happy New Year, lovely ladies, and Happy New Year to everyone. Thanks for such an entertaining 2023. Well, we have to she's give just, 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 we just, have to give about 10 percent of the credit to Megan and Harry, but uh, we will take 90 percent of that. <laughs> I drink while in bed. So do I. I think Becky. it's the other way around. So it's definitely I. 90, 90, 10. There's no way we did anything. No, because I think they thought they were serious. I, I don't think they thought they were doing this for our amusement. Happy New Year from Studio City. Yeah. It's our old stopping grounds. Man. 91423. Ventura Boulevard, baby. Uh, Yeah, man. We had some really good New Year's. Oh, New God. New Year's Eve's there. You know what's crazy? I remember those more. Well, then yeah. I remember like, 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 la like, la like last year, you know what I did for New Year's? I watched Miley Cyrus and Dolly Parton's New Year's special. Uh -huh. I fell asleep uh, at the East Coast time, which, it, what, what is it? Nine o'clock when, when? Yes. Nine yeah, nine o'clock. I fell asleep then and that was it. I said, Happy New Year, Dolly Parton, and that was it. Oh I my love, God. Love Dolly Parton. Okay, so I watched the Anderson Cooper, Andy Cohen, New Year's Eve. But I didn't know that they weren't. CNN said they were not allowed to drink. What was that? And it was the most awkward New Year's Eve I've ever seen. I don't know if they're going to do it this year. If Why? they're going to not allow them to Why drink. Why would you not be able to drink on New Year's? It was so awkward. And then Don Lemon wasn't allowed to drink. So Don Lemon's in New Orleans and he's sober as a judge. Are they it allowed was... to eat ed edibles or smoke or something? Uh, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know about that. But I'm I don't know either. It was so awkward. So what do you guys do? What do you guys watch? I mean, yeah, we used to go out. I love that I'm at that age where I don't have to go out anymore. It's awesome. Hi, Liz. Lily, or I don't you? know. We actually stayed in when we were in our 20s. We would have parties in our house. Yeah. Well, we, uh, I'm always one, like, I heard that like the sign, people who are tourists, the signs who are 
Cancer, which is us, and Taurus. Taurus. Those are the two signs of people that um, like to have parties and have people come to them. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So um, it does make sense because my boyfriend's Taurus and he's the same way. So, he likes like, to have parties? No, he doesn't like to have parties, oh. but he does not like to physically go out like me. So oh, I will okay. be like, hey, come over to our house right, right. and you know, do that. Oh, you're a Taurus? Do you like to stay home and have people come to you? Lily's Taurus. Uh, oh, first time with Lady Jane's first time. With you two are the Monica of the group. Stephanie was the Monica of the group. So like, I, and we even say it because like my house, Stephanie's house is like, well, no, actually my house is the staging area and your house is the party area. I don't, yeah. But my, mine's both. It's, it's kind of both. Mine's both. Yeah. I mean, I am Monica for friends. I, I vacuum my vacuum cleaner. She does. I clean, I dust the inside of my vacuum cleaner. Yeah. I vacuum my vacuum cleaner. I keep everything all the bristles clean. If I, I can't go to bed, if there are shoes laying on the floor, I have to put them in the closet. Yeah, she's nuts. Nuts, dude. Nuts. Uh, Taurus, I'm a homebody. Yeah, see, I've only heard that. Oh, thank you, Barbara. We got a good one today and actually one that needs a lot of help. I know. So, um, they, uh, I'm glad we found that. Thanks yeah. for giving us... Um, Thanks for giving us your recommendations for the animal yeah. charities, guys. Jan says she watches the Twilight Zone marathon. That sounds like fun. Oh, man, the old Twilight Zone episodes. Everybody they are your, so freaky. Everyone liked your hair up. I know, but I don't want to get a headache. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to get a headache. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm thinking about me. I'm thinking Whoa. about me. She, Steph, did that, she did that once. Did you man. read? Oh, uh, did you send a message? Did I read? Is it OCD? Stephanie's never actually been diagnosed with OCD, so I don't. And, and that is an actual medical. That's condition. what I'm saying. That's I'm why not, I, I don't, don't want to go and say yes, she has OCD. No, she doesn't. We she has not been diagnosed. Do I think Stephanie has OCD? Yes. You think I have severe OCD that I have to click lights on before I leave the no, house? No, that's not necessarily OCD. People with OCD that's also obsessive have compulsive um, disorder. Have right? anx they're anxious. They, oh, um, I'm anxious. Have mood swings. I have mood swings. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just saying. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Harry, Harry's a doctor. Prince Harry's a doctor. Did you know that? He's a doctor. Prince Harry? Yeah. Why is he a doctor? No, because he started better up. I was having to put together. I thought you were thinking about when they when they miscarried and he grabbed the baby and, and, and did it under yeah, the tree. I'll, yeah, like, I'll, well, I'll take it. I'm the doctor. Yeah, he's also an OBGYN. <laughs> That's so awful that we have to laugh about that. But it's uh, she's, she's just so really clean. clean. Becky, you don't live with her. You know, oh, you don't I, either. So I used to. My, and I, I got to say, my ex-husband never complained about me cleaning. You did say not that again. Can you repeat that? Once. Can you repeat that sentence? My ex-husband. There you go. That's not why we. There you go. No, Burt Backrack's the reason my why. My ex-husband. Burt Backrack is the reason why we broke up. But it had nothing to do with my cleaning. And everyone knows that. It had absolutely. Absolutely. My marriage broke up because of Burt Backrack. That is it. Okay. <laughs> I would, I would be married to that man right now and I would have oh, children. Please. Yes, I would. You would not have if had Bert children. Did, are you kidding me? I don't think you would have. Well, yes, I would. Okay. I, love, I love how you know, know me. I just don't think you would have had children. Okay, I, I so, would. But... Hi, Deckard and Dina. Did you ever get a new vacuum? Oh my God. I got Dyson. Deck and Dina, why did you have to say that? Okay, no, I thank you for the the uh for the animal shelter. Okay, our mom. Okay, can we first say it? Stephanie did not buy a vacuum cleaner. Our mom got Stephanie it's not a, a vacuum, vacuum cleaner. cleaner. Stop calling it that. Sorry, Can't Stephanie, you? a vacuum cleaner. Our parents. For Christmas. What does that say, ladies and gentlemen? She got her Dyson. I got a Dyson. And it's the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. It is cordless. It cleans up all the Jeez, that? Jeez, get out of here. <laughs> okay, so I got socks. I got socks. Um, I got a pair of socks, and Stephanie got the Dyson that she was complaining about all year long. Um yeah, it was, uh, it, and that's all I have to hear about. Stephanie will send me pictures of what the Dyson does. Like, she'll be like this. When I, I went out to the market one day, 
And Stephanie went over to no, my No, you were house. on vacation. No, no, no. This was the market. No, You're this was Calgary. the market. Oh. I wasn't in Calgary. Because this was your Christmas. When did you get this Dyson? I got it when you were in Calgary. Oh, so she gave you this Yeah, early. yeah. Mom said it was your Christmas no, gift. No, 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 no. You were in Calgary and I, and I sent See, you okay, and so your she boyfriend. Got, so she got you an early Christmas gift. Because I could have sworn Mom said this is her Christmas no, gift. Was her, she, well, but it was. She, didn't she wrap it up? I don't. She I wrapped it up. Yeah, she had something. Okay, but you were in on vacation. It was December, so um, the days have mushed together. I, I apologize. Anyways, Stephanie sends me this picture while I'm on vacation of what my upstairs. No, it? no, no. My it, carpet. No, oh, my downstairs carpet. Her downstairs. I have hardwood floors. You gotta stop. No, no, no. But I don't want them to think <laughs> I have carpets. She, no, you have one carpet on hardwood floors. Yeah. She has one carpet downstairs. In her family room area by the TV, like a Persian carpet thing. That thing, she's lying. What do you want? You want me to show it? No, no. Oh, it filled up the entire Dyson with dog hair. Okay. And I sent it to her. Okay. Private part. Is the Dyson <laughs> really that much better? Yes. If you have dogs, yes. You, it, it guys, Dyson, listen, if you have a Dyson, your life gets better. Oh, come on. I'm not kidding. It makes cleaning. You're people feel bad. No, don't care I'm to What are you talking about? Okay. It makes cleaning fun. One has to be a multi. Well, our parents. No, it that, wasn't Stephanie. I didn't buy parents. it. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you. Here's Stephanie the thing. couldn't afford a Here, Dyson. Here's the thing about uh, buying a Dyson, though, guys. The Dyson will last you forever. My last, not forever, but my last Dyson lasted 20 years. It moved from different states with me. I had how many cats at one time? Five cats? I don't know. You just kept I had three, three she, cats and five dogs. Yeah. She kept taking in three strikes cats. Well, whatever were it was. Death, we're on state, death row. A, a cable guy came into my house once in Henderson when I was living at my Thank parents' you, desert Tracy. house. And he comes in and I go, he goes like, the, I go, oh, um, pardon me. I go, I'm just going to put my cats in, in, in my sister's room. And he goes, wait, you have animals in here? And yeah. I was like, yeah. And he goes, oh my God, it doesn't Dyson smell. Thank you, Becky. Oh, thank you, Becky. We have Dyson a floor mop scrubs and steam best floor. Oh, don't tell her about a floor no, I gotta mop, get that. Becky. God. Thank you, Becky. I love God. you. God. Becky, I love you so much. God. You're my new best friend. I love you. Okay. Well, let's get to the show. Okay. Uh, why we're here. Enough about the Dyson because Stephanie can go on and on about this. If Dyson. you have, if you have pets. It's so nice seeing everybody's picture. This I know. Is so I love nice. it. Gosh. If you have pets, Hi, guys. Hi, Pan. It's, it's cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. If you have pets. I don't want to. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yes. I mean. She's it? just so excited over the Dyson. Uh, Phillips here. Happy New Year's Eve, Queens, Nancy and Stephanie. What? You got stop screaming. Okay, Stephanie wants me to stop screaming. It's in my ear. I apologize. It's just been a long four days. Okay, so let's look at some headlines before we get into and and I had to put this together, guys. So God you know, bless you. Good Lord. God bless. I us, did put everyone. together. I didn't realize all the stuff they've done this year that have been wonders. I thought it was like a culmination of five years. This. This could, nobody can be this stupid in five years. It feels like, oh, back to the Bacharach stupid. thing. You want to know the freaking story? Burt Bacharach fired my husband and. You're first telling the backstory. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my husband was with Burt Bacharach for 20 years. Burt Bacharach let him go because of a business deal gone wrong. Didn't he ask for more money? Yeah, that's what it is. That's so stupid. I just want to be on the record for saying I that, told, allegedly. I told my boyfriend but I'm that say, story. God, I'm like, you, you, are you going to let anyone finish okay, today? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, what, 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 you told your boyfriend? No, no, no. I just no, 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 say, will you stop it? Will you stop it? <laughs> Enough. I let you go on about that Dyson. <laughs> I let you. Thank you. I don't even know what I was talking about. You're Bert talking Bacharach? Bert Bacharach. No, but I'm saying... um. My husband was with Burt Backrack for 20 years, okay? When we got married, he was at the peak of his career. He had his 70s rock band that he wanted to do because he was having like a midlife crisis. And he was at the top of his game with Burt. He was producing the Australia show. He was at the top of his game with Dionne Warwick. Here's the thing, guys. When they lose 
their identity, men, and probably women too, but when men lose that, their identity, they go f- freaking bonkers, okay? They have this thing called, what is it's menopause, and then, um, what is it's the guy the thing? As, as midlife crisis. It's like a midlife crisis. So he had a midlife crisis, he went insane, so he tried to, like, hitch his ride onto another Burt Bacharach thing, which completely backfired, but <laughs> that, in the process, it was so awesome to watch. It too. was so <laughs> awesome to watch because in the process, uh, anthropause, Marsha, put that up. Marsha got it. Men suffer from anthropause. Okay. And it is exactly like uh, menopause. And that's what my husband okay. went through because he lost his identity after 28 years and he didn't know what to do. And, and he was like, oh my God, my wife who is, who is 20 years 20 years younger than me is paying for everything now. I don't want to demasculate, emasculate him, emasculate. but yeah, but it's true. Then my, then I was paying, I not paying you. for everything my parents were, but. Hi, Karen. Um, love what you both do for dog charities. I totally agree oh, about the thanks. cordless Dyson and I've got three chihuahuas. Oh, our parents Karen, adopted. Karen, thank you so much. Our parents adopted a cute little Hurricane Katrina dog named Frankie from okay. New Orleans. And um, they just lost him couple of years ago and he was just he was he was, such it was a during sweetheart. the queen it was a year ago a year ago why'd you say know. a couple years i'm thinking ago. of lewis too i don't lewis know lewis was under a year ago everyone's saying dion warwick is the mass singer now Did you guys see yeah she, she was be, yeah she was she yeah was. absolutely she was she was the mass singer oh, no, they show? haven't revealed it yet no she was oh, though she was? yeah How do you know I don't know. Oh, I don't I've know never... she is now. Did yes. anyone watch uh, Dion on the Kennedy Honors? They haven't shown it yet. It hasn't I've aired. seen. I've seen it. But uh, the the Cynthia girl who's playing Alphaba in the movie Wicked saying Alfie. And let me just tell you, wow. Yeah, she's got a really good voice. Wow. Okay. Let's let's get to this. Okay. Let's get to the BS. <laughs> so yeah. So he went through anthropause. Okay. So um. Our 2023, I guess, with Harry and Meghan kicked off with Spare. That's the only way we can put it, right? Spare. Was it? It really was. Yeah. It really was. I didn't, I had to go through. Now, how I'm going to do this, guys, is I had to, Amy, you're just on time. We're just getting started. The last 17 minutes has been about my vacuum cleaner, her 70s vacuum cleaner, and other nonsense. Thank you, Samantha. One day. One day I'll find my Prince Charming who isn't going through anthropause and isn't crazy and uh, tries allegedly, to lag. Allegedly, and, and allegedly, and lag, allegedly. That, allegedly. That's another sto- show. Okay, that's another show. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to tell you that Dionne Warwick is on Mass Singer. Oh, okay. Karen, okay. Stephanie's never seen that show, Karen. No, she was. But, but Karen, I just want to say Dion has been on Mass Singer as the mass singer before. I so it's interesting I if she's on that. it again. Okay. That's cool. Um, Savannah says one, exactly. So January, exactly. Okay. So spare comes out and I, I mean, vaguely we completely debunk it. Everyone debunks well, it. Megan Kelly debunks right. it. Everybody. Well, what I remember, what I remember, what do you remember about the, the psych, the psyche, the doctor, did the info commercial. That's what so, I remember that Nancy and I kind of did first where we watched it. And then he, what was his name? He was a, a, a Mate, Garber, Garber Mate. Dr. Mate. Yeah. He interviewed Harry for this info commercial. And in the background, there was this fireplace. And on top, there was this huge advertisement of Spare. Then there were like five books in the background. And there were like pictures of Harry everywhere. It was a huge info commercial and he came out i think like six seven months later and he was like no 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 i've had that all oh we're gonna go in order we're gonna go in chronological order because that's how i had to do it because i couldn't i really had no idea all the shenanigans those two got into this year so he he starts going on a book tour per se and he goes on anderson cooper he does the thing about uh with real Bill Brad, his friend in in Bradbury, yeah. Bradbury, where he says the thing about well, Megan never said they were racist, so they take back the racist stuff. So we're all confused at this point. I make a little video. You and I make a little video. Now, those of you who haven't seen it, I'm going to play it for you right now. <laughs> of uh, what we thought about Spare, because mostly it was the stuff about his mom. His mom, he got he froze his 
PP, his todger. Yes. And then he had to rub Elizabeth Arden cream on it. That made him that made him think of his mom. Then that, and let me just tell you, Elizabeth Arden has a lot of alcohol and yeah. fragrance in her yeah. in her stuff. So that must have burned. Yes. And been painful. Okay. Here's here's the little uh, joke we made. This was again a year ago. I, I it feels what like is this? feels like five years ago. Okay. Who's his dad? I got a surprise for you. What? <laughs> the most heartwarming book I have ever read. Oh, thanks. No problem, man. I'll totally listen to it tonight before I go to bed. Cool. Thank you. Meg joined me and sang to them. And now, of course, they sang back. Oh! My penis was oscillating between extremely sad. Nancy? Are, are you there, Nancy? Not as if my mother was right there in the room. And I took a smidge and applied it down there. So that was filmed in Stephanie's house. Riveting. And um <laughs> You look like crap. <laughs> we we did it so fast because Stephanie didn't want to do it. And then I remember so she, I was like, she, she's, she's like, we too. gotta put dark circles under my under eyes. My eyes. <laughs> so she grabs mascara and she's like, We gotta put dark circles under my I was, eyes. I was like, I gotta look like I haven't slept. And then Stephanie And I'm like, like, I'm like, trust me, so you then, look like you haven't so slept. Stephanie goes, We're not filming it in my bedroom. You're gonna go do it in the guest room I downstairs. Because she didn't want me showing her bedroom. Because <laughs> it wasn't made up or anything. And so I'm in the guest room and I'm pretending I'm going to bed. Wow, Nancy. Well, that was riveting, but we couldn't leave it at that. We couldn't leave it at that because Harry decided to leave his book on a plane in first class for a flight attendant as a thank you for being so nice on the plane. Did he sign it? I don't think he signed it. I think he just he left, just it, left it. He so, left it in the magazine so, uh, card. Yeah, thing. so spare two was um, okay. conceived. This is where dad comes in. Now, there. Stephanie decided that she, I was didn't the filmmaker. Want, she did not want any part in no, this. No, I did on the acting side yeah so people were asking me when we did do this film or this trailer this film <laughs> were you both parts yes i was nancy was both parts stephanie wanted nothing to do with it us. wasn't that i was just having an off day it was a hot day and we had to wear like we were in siberia so we had to wear to heavy clothes okay <laughs> Penis was oscillating between extremely sensitive and borderline traumatized. My mum used that on her lips. You want me to put that on my todger? It works, Harry. Trust me. Meg joined me and sang to them. I was course. They sang back. Oh. How'd you find me? We need you to come back. I gave all that up. You don't understand. He took it on a plane. It's airborne. How many passengers? It landed in LAX. LAX is a hub. Those passengers could have been taking connecting flights anywhere. Do you see now why we need you to come back? I need to see the president. I'm the president of the United States of America and I get the final word. Damn it, Mr. President. You lost that right the minute you let them into our country. Okay. Now tell me what I need to do. Host a state dinner. Invite them. Megan's the kind of girl that would crawl through an air conditioning vent to get to a party. Leave the rest to me. I did write that though. You did not write I wrote that. the air con air conditioner vent. You did the air conditioner. I did. Vent. I thought that, that was, was the one thing yeah, she she, Nancy, she fought for. Nancy wanted a she a, she fought a, for it. envelope. Yeah. She get invited to uh, yeah. the opening of an envelope. And but so I was like, no, it dad, needs to be original. Yeah. So my dad doesn't own Ray Bans. He has like, you know, blue blockers, he whatever he wears. Mine. And so Steph he had to wear Stephanie's girl Ray Bans. And um 
Uh, anybody who is a Neil Breen fan will understand why I was acting like that. I was very monotone. Nancy, no straight. one's no, questioning because a it. lot of people did not know what I was going for. I love Neil Breen. Mm -hmm. I love his films. We got I think it. He's brilliant. Look I him did, up. He's great. I think I did a good job hey, with the camera, though. Paula M is here. Hi, Paula. I think we're going to stop by and, and spend New Year's Eve with you tomorrow for a bit. <laughs> that sounds fun. Paula's been so wonderful to us and such a great friend and mentor, and um, we just love meeting her and she's just great thanks for meeting in the chat okay so moving on from spare guys we're not going to go get into all this because this show will be five hours long so then south park comes out Dude, now the reason the i'm only day. putting the slides up is because guys you can go back on our channel and check it out if you want yeah. um yes susan did nancy yes i did play both roles yes so South Park was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I was so, I was just so happy. I was just so happy because they, they made fun of everything. They made fun of spare. They made fun of the fact that um, they wanted privacy and, but they didn't want privacy. They I, wanted, I never They made fun this. of how dumb Megan is. Mm -hmm. Now, Stephanie, if you go, go back and watch this episode, Stephanie had not seen the South Park episode. Stephanie is also not a fan of South Park. I'm, no, no, no. I'm a fan of them because they did that kids in the hall thing. I thought that was funny. Yeah. Where they were like, oh, Canadians wear glasses. Yeah. I thought that was funny. I, I just, am, I'm not a person who puts it on my DVR and watches it. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't mean I'm not a fan. I'm a fan now. Yeah. I think it's funny. Yeah. Now, of course we want a South Park too. Guys, get to work. They only usually do about eight episodes a season now because they're very like, and, they, and the, their process, if you guys ever want to see how they do a South Park episode, it's really funny. But South Park kind of like kicked it off where Americans were like, we're not going to take this anymore. Yeah. Now, I think they still had a little bit of hope and faith. I still think at this point, they they still thought, you know what, maybe something good will happen. So then there was the better up scam. <laughs> Nancy now, joins. I joined this thing. Nancy joined better up. Well, I, I, I attempted. Attempt to join this. And again, these are all episodes that we've done. I'm not trying to like say, hey, go watch our, our channel. This isn't an ad. This is just for my brain to remember what happened this year because <laughs> I can't remember half this crap. <laughs> okay. So um, do you girls enjoy Jimmy Kimmel making fun of Spare? I did watch that one I clip. I do not watch Jimmy Kimmel, but I did see that clip and I thought it was very funny. As Marcia say, I just recently watched that episode you girls made about South Park. It was priceless. Nancy laughing uncontrollably. Stephanie confused. She's totally confused. I thought it was so fun when they did the fireworks. Yeah, yeah. But this is funny because Nancy joins uh, Better Up to prove that Better Up is a cult. The problem is when you do a, a episode on YouTube, whether you have a hundred subscribers or a thousand subscribers. You're Someone, gonna have some Sussex you're going to have some Sussex squad turning you in. And that's what happened with Nancy is that she put her, her she put her actual name in there. Well, because I didn't know what else to do. So, I mean. so clearly better yeah. up denied her enrollment. No, uh, no, no they didn't mm -hmm. deny me enrollment. No, no they, they do. They wanted to take my money. Oh, oh of no, course. No, no, no. I'm sure they no, did. No, I was trying to get a job as a counselor. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And so they, you didn't, they didn't want that. Mind. I still get emails though, and I can prove it. I have all the emails. I'll, I'll show it maybe during you the You couldn't get show. a job as a counselor, but they wanted to take you they in. They wanted to take me in as a client. Client. Oh, yes. <laughs> Got it. They thought I needed it's mental not, health. It's not a call. So Harry joins this better up thing, and he thinks that uh, mental health should be treated from apps, from the internet. You should get an app and you should just talk to somebody, not a therapist, but somebody who has gone through similar experiences as you, and that will make you feel better. Serena Williams got on board for a, t a bit. It's this thing. Yeah. I was like, okay. Um, I did have receipts. Yes. I have the receipts. She does all that. Receipts, but... Um, and then they tried to get my credit card information. I was going to do all that. Then my mom and dad called me up. <laughs> And they said, please, please, please don't do this. <laughs> and I said, okay. <laughs> and I explained it all. It's like why I Scientology. It. But uh, yeah, the Better Up scam was pretty hilarious. Yeah. Then they get kicked out of Frogmore. That was beautiful. That was great. It was a beautiful day. Um, wow, did they complain about it? They put out a statement right away. Yeah. And they said, wow, 
We didn't want to get kicked yeah, out. Yeah, this our is, stuff is still in the closet. This is when they start going, uh, wait, but we didn't want to leave the UK. This is when talk, uh, st- we, the rumbling started yeah, from their like camp, this. where they start going, wait a second. We... We never we, wanted to leave. We never wanted to leave. The, fr- the freedom flight wasn't real. That was all in your imagination. The press made all that the, up. Pr- the, yeah, we didn't yeah. write that in a in a Snapchat. Yeah, so that happened, and that was a good day. That was pretty funny. Yeah, they start backpedaling at this yeah. point. So then we had St. Patrick's Day, and... King Charles is uh, giving out time. He's given out more duties to Princess Catherine, which is great. We're all so proud of her and happy. And then Megan puts out that she made an olive oil cake the same day. Oh, good for her. So I'm thinking to myself, for okay, Nancy. this is now we did. We called it back then. Again, it's all back there, time stamped. Go back there and check it. We called it. We said, she sounds like she's turning into a Kardashian because. Kardashians were obsessed with, with these all, olive oil, oil cakes. cakes. They were getting paid to be obsessed. To be obsessed with olive oil cakes. Yes, the company was paying them. Yes, to to like olive oil cakes and pretend to make olive oil cakes. And this was, and we have the receipts. We have all the 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 Snapchats and all the things that the Kardashians did at the time. So we thought it was very odd that Megan all of a sudden was into these olive oil cakes. Well. But then, Makes because sense. She, she was still not with Ari Emanuel yeah. at the time. Not at the time. No, she was still, well, she, she, she yeah. was dropped from Sunshine yeah. Sacks. Wendy, so. Wendy, that's why we're here. And I had to remember all this stuff. I, I couldn't remember all this stuff. I had to go back on our I, channel. I mean, Nancy joining the cult. I don't remember, I don't remember any, of that. any of that stuff. I feel stupider after a year. I feel like brain cells have died because I, of all this. But. I know. I feel like I've been drinking nonstop and all my brain cells are just gone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I need to like double up on uh, yeah. uh, vitamins or something. So then the coronation's coming up and Harry is making these crazy demands. And we have no idea whether Megan's coming or not. But he's making these crazy security demands. And we're thinking, whoa. whoa. And we're like, because then we're like, is Megan coming? Is she coming? Are the kids coming? Are they, yeah, what's going but then, on? But then it was like, we don't know. But he's making these crazy ass demands. And Omid Scobie's calling Archie seven years old. <laughs> yeah, like we don't know. He's what's... taking a DeLorean Who into the six? future. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, we're going to, Car- Harry has to take his DeLorean back with the flux capacitor. Yeah. And if we don't go back to the future, we'll never make Archie six. Sixth birthday. Archie's four. Yeah. <laughs> so none of this makes any sense. Did Megan send a basket of clever lead base products to Oprah as oh, no sure. Le- oh uh cause brain damage? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, Stephen, if she sent it. I know that didn't doesn't Oprah have a stake in the company too? I thought she did, or maybe she I don't know, but I know Megan, about the coffee thing. We're talking about the the club, yeah. The yeah, mushroom she does, stuff. yeah. yeah. The, what, what do you call it, Stephanie? It's not the coffee thing, mushroom. Fungus, fungus feet, feet tea, tea. <laughs> fungus feet tea. Stomach. Forgot about that too. See? Yeah. Well, no, that's it's coming. It's been up. a long four days, yeah. guys. Okay, so then we're, we still don't know what's going on with the coronation, and Megan comes out where they're just they want us to squash the fact that Megan and Harry ever said anything about race comments. They are trying to bury the Oprah thing. And, and do you guys remember that? And in this episode, we had all the receipts and the fact that they're just like, we never, we don't want it. We never said any of this stuff. No. Cause then I have to click, oh, okay, have to click cool. over. So, um, I knew something was coming. Cause I thought I did a fungus VT and like that it was fungus. VT. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it was, it was really odd to me because they were taking a lot of stuff back as far as like what they were saying, in the Oprah interview. So I'm like thinking I'm we still don't know if Megan's coming to the coronation. So I'm still nervous at this I point. Didn't, I, yeah, I was I'm still like, why is she taking all this stuff back? Yeah. And why does he want extra security for himself? He's probably going to stay at the Soho yeah, she, house, which he did. Which, w- allegedly. Allegedly. And and we don't know, we don't, like, really know, like, um, you know, it, why they need all this, like you said, the security. Because all these presidents and dignitaries of the, of the <laughs> like, are coming. They're fine. They're totally fine. Yeah. So this this Harry's is really not. weird. So, um. She ended up not coming, obviously. Well, well, and then and then they show up at a basketball game. They show up at the Lakers. Yeah, and they're in a box, but it's a weird box. I I think it wasn't it Tyler Perry's box. 
it they had all of their Archwell employees. Yeah, there. but I think it was Ty. I think I think someone sleuthed that out. I can't remember who. Guys, yeah. it was a while ago. But someone said it was like the Tyler Perry box. So Megan was in this like pink culotte outfit that was um oh god the oh, wife yeah. what the uh ari emmanuel's wife oh is right. a clothing designer yeah i can't remember and that. megan is wearing her pink culotte outfit. right so we know something's going on so we know something is up ari emmanuel is the uh ceo president w of, of wme which is her management company now or her PR and the kardashians. Whatever, kardashians all that so she was you're right she was wearing ari emmanuel's wife's clothes exactly and they were wrinkled beyond belief do you need to go to the, out okay let me check i think she's go got you know she, luna it's been raining in portland yeah. so luna uh does not like to go out in the rain and now it stopped raining so now she wants to go out luna go to the bathroom okay she's fine never mind uh with love for my pugs oh pugs i love the the squished face i had an english bulldog so i and i love the bull breed okay so we have her at the basketball game and she does that insane insane uh a pap shot of them in the back of the car do you guys remember that and she's smiling and they're coming out of the staples center Oh my God. So then we find out that she's not coming to the coronation and we're super happy. Harry's coming. He's going to be in and out, in and out. And then Harry acts, and we're going to do more of this tomorrow for our, for our big new year show. But um, Harry acts like, I don't know, like what, how did you describe it? He acted like not, he walks down the aisle during the coronation and he acts like nothing's wrong. He acts like his poop doesn't stink. Yeah. And then he just makes these weird facial expressions and it just was really weird. Here's one of the facial expre expressions that was really weird. He acted like he was drunk, yeah. but Megan, allegedly de Megan decides the next day to do a pap walk with Marcus Anderson <laughs> and her assistant, her, um, I don't know her. No, not her assistant. That's that yoga girl Whatever. that they went to Puerto Rico with. Know. Nancy, I don't know. Well, I'm telling you. No, I know. So she does this pap walk, but this is when we start noticing She's no that it, she is becoming extremely thin, like extreme. Uh, Emma, we're going to bring up Feathergate tomorrow. That's going to be part of our uh, uh, New Year's in review with the coronation stuff. I, this is all Harry and Meghan stuff, but yes, the Feathergate was awesome. It was one of the best moments <laughs> that was of so my funny. life. Yeah. Um, oh, the yes, the pink, the pink wrinkled dress. <laughs> no, but this I is mean, where cool lot, this is where she's losing weight, but she's merching. She, no, no, she was merching that day. Nancy, look, she's a scarf on while yeah. she's hiking. No, no, she she's been merching consistently. Yeah, yes, but this is when we start really going. What is going on with that? That's not normal well, because say, the camera adds 10 pounds. Yeah. And if that if camera adds 10 pounds, where are the 10 pounds? Well, and also we're just thinking, what is she up to? Is she pulling another Princess Diana? We we, we all said that, yes, guys. In this episode, we speculate. Uh, yeah, we we think maybe that's where she's going to go down. Now, she's only gotten skinnier from there, allegedly. We don't know if she's on Ozempic, allegedly. But if I had to allegedly guess, I would say allegedly she is. Because Oprah just came out and admitted it. So Now, I was watching this thing with a bunch of doctors the other day. Mm -hmm. And they're, tell they're literally saying... You cannot get off this ever. New. Do you know that, guys? It, Body if, becomes. If you are not diabetic and take it for the reasons you should be taking it. Now, I'm not saying there are people out there on Ozempic. If you're, and you should if you're be a diabetic, it. you should. Some people need to be on yeah. it to control their weight. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Duh. If you, <laughs> um, but there are people out there that are taking it recreation. How do you say it? Recreationally. recreationally? Yes. That's Rec why I have a are twin. You, are you drunk? No, I'm not drunk. Are you drunk? <laughs> um, like Harry? So uh, <laughs> she, the doctors are saying that you have to, if you take it, just it messes up your metabolism Kidneys, so bad liver. that you have to stay on it forever. You have to put this injection in you forever. You have to feel sick when you go to a food festival. I Why gotta find want that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find that episode. It was on YouTube. I'll I put it in the description yeah, below, guys. It was really so. Scary Oprah's to doing watch. the Ozempic, and we know, you know, we're 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 saying she might be doing. Yeah. It, so. Okay. So then 
that all happens. Then she gets this award, this fake award. At uh, from, Hertz uh, rental car. At Hertz rental car. We all remember the Hertz rental car dress and everything. But it was what happened after the Hertz rental car that stunned stunned everybody and thought what is going on with these two this is getting creepier and creepier by the minute she had a fake fake there was catastrophic car chase car chase there was a fake <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny at the time we weren't laughing but you look back and you and you watch it back to back like I this know. they're Megan's crazy. I know. <laughs> she really is. Like, Megan Markle is nuts, man. I know. And Harry is, like, her little b-boy. I mean, that's crazy. This is really crazy. So they so they <laughs> did this fake uh, catastrophic car chase around New York. And if anyone... Uh, oh, God, I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over that's, again. Yeah. If anyone's... <laughs> been to new york <laughs> if anyone's been to london or something like a big city like that <laughs> you're gonna know that there are no catastrophic car chases this is not you couldn't even do that in downtown portland you you could do it in downtown la they do it all the time no you can't yeah, you can. well you could no, you, you got the helicopters and nah. we used to see you don't remember all those car chases every that's week? when they that's when they have to then love that the, the police have to stop the people that's when they get it going i'm just saying new york is no. the wrong place to say you're see this is the problem with harry and megan they tried to do it on that damn netflix show they tried <laughs> yeah. to say they tried to be in the back of that suv going oh my god there's a scooter there, there's a scooter behind us we're going to pretend there's a cat you know they tried to do it then in la mm -hmm. they did not succeed because everyone made fun of them so now they're in new york at a hertz rent a car no doubt getting some fake award or saying she's in a gold lame dress whatever and um dory is there dory is there because you got to bring doria um <laughs> and uh, harry's recording the entire thing the entire time so i can't wait to see who who picks up that that series <laughs> yeah but i mean that, that that's just one of the the craziness of of this year with them it was just so crazy guys everyone covered it i you mean find but it on, not, but, on youtube but then the police and then cnn the most liberal station in america is like completely their anchors are like dumbfounded but the, they're but, like one guy john berman who's like an anchor there he's like I was there last night. He lives in the area and he doesn't remember any of that stuff happening. But then also the police commissioner, didn't he come out? And oh, he, everybody like, did. He, everybody, they were the like, mayor. The, the mayor, mayor. The mayor. They were like, this did not happen. Yes. Because the thing about it is that, listen, Harry and Megan could lie only so much. But when you start messing with the city's transportation and New people, York and New York, New York's going to come out and defend, man. Yeah. And Americans are to call BS on that, yeah, which we all sure. did that yeah. night. It was like, even Anderson Cooper was like, that didn't happen. No, nobody believed no it. No one believed it. Was it. A, and the only person who got upset about it was Omid Scobie. He went on and oh. he goes, he can't believe King Charles didn't call him and make sure they were okay. What is there to call? Oh, I, okay. Are you okay when you took that cab to the Upper East Guys, Side? This has been debunked to death. Okay, so oh, and Gail believed him, Christine. I believe Gail said something. <laughs> I'm sure in she I'm did. Sure she did. Gail, okay, no problem. So then they go out to sushi, and poor Cameron Diaz happens to be outside with her husband Benji Madden. She and was I, also at that Katy Perry thing. Yeah, but I think I I I don't believe for a second that these people are friends because no. every time Cameron is in the same vicinity as Megan, she avoids her like the plague. Yeah, and a lot of people were kind of like, oh, they took the same jet to the Katy Perry concert. They did not take the same jet voluntarily. That was their that agency. Was, that was the agency that provided the transportation for them to go to Katy Perry because Katy Perry yeah. is in WME what, as well. What you well. guys have to understand is like, like what people don't understand is Zoe Saldana can't afford a jet every time she goes somewhere. Neither can Cameron neither Diaz. Neither can Cameron Diaz and neither can Megan and Harry. They have to go by what their their um uh agency goes, this is where you need to be. You need to this is you're gonna be seen tonight and mm -hmm. you're gonna be going to Katie's uh, yes. party. That's what they didn't sit together. Yeah. They didn't sit with them. We we need Katie yeah. to have we need Katie's last show to have some sort of relevance. Yes. So you're gonna get on this plane and you're gonna do that. 
I don't think in any way, shape, or form Cameron Diaz and Meghan Markle are friends. Cameron yeah. Diaz does not seem like that type of girl. And they, there was talk Gwyneth Paltrow was going to be a part of, of her coming back to Instagram. Now Meghan's not going to come back to Instagram. I think Gwyneth probably considered it for a little bit because she let Kourtney Kardashian be a part, do a collab with Poosh. her. However, I think Gwyneth saw... The, how bad it is in the reaction and was like, I'm not going near this girl with a 10 foot pole. No. So I think they had. So then there was the uh, court case with Harry coming with no evidence. The first day he didn't show up. We did. I was just annoying and so weird. <laughs> then um, the, there was a lot of discovery about him and Chelsea's relationship about how it, it was more about like how he couldn't protect Chelsea, not how yeah. he couldn't protect Megan. It was pretty amazing. He was it like, was really it, weird. it was like, it was like watching a love story unfold, but like the right love story on Lifetime, not the crazy it one. It was kind of sweet. Yeah, it was really nice. And it, that episode, I remember, it was nice because we were able to like go back and talk about and Carrie, their relationship. Carrie loves the courtroom. He's always suing someone. It's I like, don't think he loves the courtroom. No, but it's like <laughs> Prince Harry to. You know, the courtroom is to like what salt is to the ocean. Like he just is there all the time. You know, I yeah. don't know what his well, deal is. Unfortunately, he has to now because he started it. That's what and I'm saying. And he the has court, to finish he's got to finish it now. Yeah. So then there was Bike Gate. Now, those of you who don't remember Bike Gate, what happened oh, was, yeah. yeah, see, um, this story really intrigued me because the bike shop kept doubling down. What they did was they, the, the uh, Montecito, Santa Barbara, Montecito especially, is, um, guys, I'm just going to say, you got to be rich to live there. You're not poor. And you got to have Dyson money. If you, yeah, Dyson money. <laughs> <laughs> um, God. And uh, you, uh, if you have a shop there, if you have like a mom and pop shop, you're, you still got money. Okay. That's not a mom and pop shop. But uh, er everything's local. You know, it's a lot like Portland where it's like, oh, it's, Buy local, buy local. Well, those shops are making good money by, by selling local and staying local. But anyways, this Montecito bike shop, uh, and they they do the bikes with the with the English cars in the background, like mm -hmm. the cars on the side. They send a bike to Archie, a very expensive bike for his birthday. Mm -hmm. Now, they Megan and and Harry or Megan in the bike shop obviously have a merching deal. However. Um, it blows up in their face because people called it right away. They said, how could you guys be merching this? This is a bike. You could be giving it to uh, children in need, but instead you give it to Archie and you're doing it, blah, blah, blah. So the bike shop gets like a plethora of bad press and they don't like this. So the bike shop then, you bring up our picture. So then the, so then the bike shop decides. No, okay. This is why Stephanie doesn't get the mouse. <laughs> you just said we. Can no, bring up I your said bring picture. up our picture. I didn't know what that meant. Exactly. That's why you don't get the mouse. That's why you don't get the mouse. Okay. But I want the mouse. No. Okay. So the bike shop then says we're going to donate bikes to the Boys and Girls Aid Society. Now the Boys and Girls Aid Society is an interesting aid society because it's different in every single city. So they decided to do it for the Boys and Girls Aid Society of Montecito, which that's fine. Fine. I mean, okay. you still have to pay for the programs. The parents are still own. paying for yeah. the programs, whatever. But it's still, when you say underprivileged kids, you're not thinking Montecito. Man. I'm not seeing Montecito Boys and Girls Aid Society. I'm just not, that's not what I think not of that when it's I think. not a good, uh, listen, whatever. I don't know. That so, was just our opinion. That was then. my opinion. So then they also decided to exploit the fact that it was Pride Month, <laughs> which made no sense. Yeah. They started putting rainbow flags everywhere. Yeah, they wanted like to incorporate Pride. No, no. They thought that by us going after them, that they could then hide behind the rainbow flag. Like, but we love gay people too. Yeah, we love weird. LGBTQ. And that didn't make any sense because it, it was no like, sense. well, yeah, so do we, but you still suck. Yeah. You, like, you, what are you trying to yeah, do? You're, you're trying to hide behind the flag? So this is the moment in history, guys, this in 2023, weird. that we realized that anything Megan and Harry touched turned to crap. It, this this was definitely the this moment. This was it yeah, right here. We this were was like, the Kardashian curse right here where it's like anything whoa. you touch. Yeah. Go. Yeah.
Like this Nancy's is the first Nancy. This is the first that's time the that's ever happened. Thank first you. Time. Okay. So then the Tyler Perry, the freedom of information thing comes out where when they were staying at Tyler Perry's uh, mansion, whatever in LA that Megan leaked the address. So the drone can come and take pictures because it wasn't happening to any other celebrities. Duh, duh. So, so, and then it turned out that it was Megan leaking it. Now I'm starting to believe now it was also Tyler Perry that helped her leak of it. Course, so yeah. obviously this was, at first I thought, well, Tyler got markled, poor guy. No, Tyler's, Tyler's almost, he's j not just as bad. He's, he's maybe worse than Megan. Yeah, and he does this weird, it's like they were standing at the edge of the cliff and they had these privacy fences and they were staring up at the, at the, and what are they called? Dr drones. Dr drones or whatever and and they were like oh gosh look at this. and they were both doing the same moves remember yeah. tyler perry no, and megan were both yeah. doing this yeah at the exact same time which means megan is a true narcissist because what she's doing is she's you know yeah the, she's mirroring 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 him. tyler yes. so the whole tyler thing was weird um then megan decides to do a pap walk in a parking lot this was her so, this is when her parking lot princess title comes into play Good for the for first her. time yeah. they do trooping the colors so megan decides to do a pap walk for no reason she's not really it's a dead she's of summer just, she's just walking around a parking lot with her one bodyguard um for looking like that trooping the color so i don't there you go there you go it all again, <laughs> yeah, back so, to back she seems nuts but it uh it's it was very like okay so then another parking lot <laughs> okay. pap uh princess catherine uh goes to wimbledon so she decides to um do another parking lot pap of her and uh, they're walking to their car but oh. it was weird because she was in those weird culotte shorts yeah so this iron. is when it just starts getting weird this is, well, not weird, she but like, you love the word weird. Stephanie hates it when I say the word No, weird. I don't hate she it. She says I say it a lot. I, but, you're, but just, how else, you're throwing me under the bus. No, but how, how else do you say it? But you're throwing me Wait, under the bus. This is when it starts getting like fanatical. Weird. Like crazy. No, that's not a I word. I don't know. You just made it. No, word. fanatical's a word. So then, <laughs> so then people are criticizing Megan so much for doing these pap walks during events. She can't do it. For George's 10th birthday, so Doria decides to do it. Doria decides to go to some dumb art show in, in on Rodeo Drive or something, which makes no sense. Was this there with are the no, this was oh. this was with um a friend of hers. She oh, was right, at an right, art right, show right, right. and it was King George's There's King so George, much. hello. King, he's king. Prince Prince George's uh 10th birthday. So Doria decides to do a pap walk. Now we proved we had received there are no paparazzi on Rodeo Drive. There <laughs> paparazzi do not just sit on the boulevard and wait for Doria Raglan to walk by. You have not, to be called. Plus it was back grid. That's what I'm saying. You're, they're not waiting around for you know pretty woman to walk across the street in her stilettos. You yeah. Know? That's not the way Rodeo Drive works. Yeah. It's not the movies, guys. Yeah. So Jeez. then, so then we start hearing about Harry and Megan getting involved with these very weird. See, so I said weird again. No, Sorry. I'm. What can we I should say? play a drinking game. With I need. That, though. I need a th thesaurus. No, no, we should play a drinking okay. game with weird. Okay, this is a this. Then they start doing pushing the charity thing again, but unfortunately, they're not really doing charities. They're doing these initiatives that um what am i trying to say they they um that are trying to not an agenda they're yeah. trying to preach an agenda they're trying to be nazis okay yahtzees 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 you say it once right i don't know they're trying to be no yahtzees idea. i have no idea they're trying to push their propaganda on people yeah. like us make us all think the same thing that they're thinking, yeah. make us read all the same books that they're reading, mm -hmm. watch all the same TV shows yeah. that they're reading or watching. I promised myself that January was gonna hit the ground running um, as far as doing more research into these, these things. And I was actually watching a video on postmodernism and it was very interesting. And I'm gonna be careful on what I can say and what I can't say on here. But postmodernists believed 
that uh, obviously you should completely break down every establishment, everything that that the establishment says, society, families, everything. And obviously I'm not very, I'm very anti-establishment in a sense. I mean, I'm not like you need to get married and you need to have kids and you need to have the nuclear family and all this stuff. I believe families can be created any way, any shape, any form. Um, and, but, but what Megan and Harry are doing is they're just trying to break down um, what what's right and what's wrong? Well, not yeah. See, but that's 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 the hard part because then postmodernists postmodernists will come out and say, well, yeah, but how do you who says who what's right and what's but wrong? That's what, no, but, they're right. Okay, and wrong. but see, I was watching this video the other day, and do you know that back in the day when when we, they were uh, just trying to, it, it, the French postmodernism? You know that guy with who's bald with glasses? You guys know his name. Um, he was like one of the most famous ones. He was even preaching that the P word was acceptable. That, and tell me if you haven't heard this What's before. What's the P word? Well, I can't say it. I can't say what it. What is it? Oh, right, right. That should be accepted because children should be able to make up their own minds. Ch parents shouldn't tell their children how to feel, how so to think. What Nancy's trying this to say. This sounds a lot like what... Uh, is being preached today. What, as well. what what Nancy's saying is that Harry and Meghan are trying to put their beliefs onto yes the rest of our society, which is not going to work. Well, it never has. We're not communist. We're Americans. Okay, but but I don't. Yeah. yeah okay, but we could yeah, do a whole show on I, this. And I did do a whole show yeah, on this. Yeah. So you guys can go back and see all the people behind this this report. Then this woman, this girl who came out and said Facebook's bad, and we all thought, oh my god, she's going to like come out. Yes, uh, Philip him. That's his name. Yes. Um, uh, this girl testified and she's like, we, she actually testified because she wants more censorship. So she's involved in this thing that Harry and Meghan then got involved in. Remember when they called those people and they said, hey, we're going to do this. It was all about censorship. And I totally broke it down, blah, blah, blah. We can go on and on about this, but we're not. Then they did that weird pap walk where she looked like Beetlejuice. Oh, that was so annoying. That was so annoying. Um, then she did that pap walk where she was wearing the patch. Yep. And she was wearing like a camel coat when it was like 82 degrees. Yeah. Again, with the with clothes, but when and you, the patch got traced back to this, the dude, Robbins, uh, yeah. I mean, there, uh, Tony Robinson, Tony Robinson, yes. which is also a Kardashian person. So WME obviously has stake in Tony Robinson, which Meghan Markle was trying to merch with the patch yeah so um, oh we had megan's mole on for that episode did we i think we did or she, she, have said she brought up the patch we okay. did a live before that and she said yes, she just, did. did you guys notice that megan megan was wearing a patch she gave us all the info everybody on that. go you, megan's yeah mole. megan's mole uh, awesome. so sh um that patch yeah she started just kind of like pushing products i think she was just dipping her toes to see what she could get away with and everything was hit at the pass like nope Nope. Yeah. Nope. Because she was testing the waters. Testing the waters because Sussex Squad has no money. I think the I think the people that did the playground and all that stuff. I think that was that was her people that were trying to make it look like she had people behind her. Oh, I don't yeah. think allegedly Sussex Squad has any money and to buy these products. That was all off. So optics. if Megan merches products, there's nobody there to buy them. And that's what the Kardashians are finding out. Yes, Lulu's mom. Uh, Tony Robinson. Uh, yeah, Robin. Sorry. He's that Robin's motivational speaker. speaker who writes all the self-help books. But he's also the snake oil. He's it's like snake he, oil sa salesman. Take he him sells as you all want. The, he, he, he's been called a grifter. He's been called he a, grifter. a lot of things. It, you know, take he him as you want it. Look into it yourself. Yeah, I, 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 I've never been interested okay. in anything he's ever said but some people you know then doria shows up at a event with the kardashians jeff bezos and lauren sanchez all people behind oh, yeah. that uh dark world dark money and you know that there we go that's when we were like okay we see where this is going we see where this is going and it was it was pretty pathetic they and, definitely uh, but you notice that they definitely eased us into <laughs> 
that because we're of. watching things from the past. <laughs> we're, 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 we're talking about olive oil cakes here that the Kardashians are pushing. And yeah. then we go right into this. Right. It's like they did ease us into it. So it must have been planned for a while. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I think after Sun, Sunshine Sacks dropped her, I think all this was in the works. Yeah. I think you're right about testing the waters. And this is the outcome of yeah. it. So. Oh, God. Uh, then we had the uh, uh, Beyonce, Beyonce concert. concert. She's I dancing. Have the dance video right here. If you guys haven't seen it, oh, no. let's check it out. Sorry, guys. Uh, put a uh, trigger warning. <laughs> Megan's about to dance. <laughs> Exhausting. It really is. I'm tired a little now. Poor workout there. I'm exhausted. Okay, so we had the whole Beyonce concert. She goes two nights, two nights, not one night, but two nights. She had a little date night with Tyler Perry. She has a little date night with the Kardashians, Tyler Perry. Um, nobody really, nobody else really wanted to take a picture with her. Well, they didn't want to post it. That's for no, sure. that's for sure. Because they had the Kerry Washington and Kelly Rowland picture, but that that came out separately, which we we know Megan's PR team, whatever WME, we can say yeah. it now. They they put it out, but then Kerry Washington and Kelly Rowlands on their Instagram page uh, did not put, include Megan. They actually cropped Megan out of the picture. Yes, and that speaks. Volumes. volumes but she could not uh she was over in the champagne i call it the champagne, champagne room. Room. i'm VIP. it's the vip room i still call it the champagne room um okay so then oh man this was probably one of the worst weeks of my life i remember i needed Oh, this is I needed addictive. such a break. We covered it every day. I needed a men mental break. Guys, we did so many episodes on this. It was so exhausting. She's marching with the I've so got we, the we know all this. I mean, we know all this. The children are uh, from hostel okay. are chasing them. Guys, Invictus, if you want to go back and relive that nightmare, I you can. That. Now you're just bringing up mental trauma. I know. Here Let's was not the. Bring up mental I was trauma. just going to bring up the marching real fast. Everybody, take a drink. <laughs> take a drink. Take a friggin' drink now, man. <laughs> okay. Watch the marching. We we really didn't know what prompted this. If someone told her to march, it's still unbelievable. It's still completely. Pause it. Oh. <laughs> Don't say that. We have no idea why she's marching. I'll bring it back. <laughs> this was probably one of the most confusing things. But then you would think, okay, well, she did it today. No, she does it the next day. Yeah, man. In, in cool, culottes. Cool, on iron culottes. So we have all that. All YouTubers do. Uh, uh, all the, the all the people do. Megan's by everybody. Then you had them in the golf cart, and and they paid kids. That chased them. And for some reason, you and I went on this this tangent for a while because we thought it was one of the funniest things ever. Because they because they're in like the they're in Germany. And there's there, this, it's hostile. It's like that movie Hostel. You guys know that movie Hostel where, yeah, where no, the we, little we, kids. We did this ad. No, nauseum. I'm just saying for people that don't know, it's that movie Hostel where those little <laughs> kids at the end of the movie start killing the dude and they start chasing him around with backpacks. I mean, that's just like Hostel 
times a million. But it was funny because they had these kids chase them and they don't know why they're chasing them. They could, you know what I love about Jer uh, Dusseldorf though? They they couldn't find uh, adults to do it. No. They couldn't find adults. So no. I, uh, I praise you on that one, yeah. Dusseldorf. And yes. I, I would love to yeah. come visit sometime. Then Megan decided <laughs> to, uh, that one time that a modeling agent, the modeling agency hired her and this girl to be the background extras. And she got her picture taken with Serena. Um, she tried to get on this period poverty thing, which, um, I think is, is a very good initiative, um, that Bayes is doing the line Bayes, but it kind of just didn't know, take off. This like is, this is nobody a clear, really cared. This, this was a clear, um, grab to, uh, do something nice. Yeah. Okay. But, but giving out only what, 20, 20,000 pads is not doing yes. much, <laughs> and, but, but here's the thing, but here, whatever, 2,500, 2, I don't, I don't 20, know. 20,000. I don't know what it was. Um, but it, but what that is, is that do, that's doing something. So 10 years from now, you can say, I did that. Oh, we've been to Cologne, so. Marsha. It's beautiful. We love Germany. Oh, I love we really do. Yeah. Um, but that's what that was. Yeah. And then it came out that they had an NDA with the school and they had all these rules for the kids. It was a really <laughs> hot day, let's remember. And, uh, you know, there were just all these certain rules. We did a whole video on that where we had the, the clips and everything. And it does make sense now that there was an NDA and they needed new uh, content. Uh, uh, no, they needed new chairs for Megan to sit on and all these things. Yeah, it was 20, just so 2, sad. 2,500 pads 20, for... 87 to 108 million women. There but again, go. that is just something that's a Kardashian grab that you said that, that's like that's like Nancy and I uh, giving uh, a, a blank of five blankets to an animal shelter that has thousands of dogs, but we gave five blankets. So in and 10 we, years from and now, we put it up on our page. And we put it up on our page. We said we just gave blankets to this animal shelter. And then in 10 years, guess what, guys? Don't you remember Nancy and I gave those blankets to that animal shelter? Yeah, no, it's exactly well, giving like five blankets to an animal shelter with with it's thousands of dogs is a grift. It's a grift. It's a grift. Okay, so then they we knew they were going to New York with this Project Healthy Minds guys. I blew the lid off Project Healthy. Why Minds. do you just keep saying I? Because I did do all the research and you sat there and you listened. You've been throwing me under the bus. I'm not the, I don't think I'm throwing you under the, the bus. The whole show. Okay, I'm sorry. Stephanie helped me research. Pro do, can you tell me anything about that? Maybe I shouldn't be on this show. Okay. Where's Eddie? Eddie, come here. Um, <laughs> um, Project Healthy Minds. Uh, go back. Check out that episode, guys. It is a lot of information that we found out. Black Rock's behind it. We it start goes all with... the way to Joe Biden. Oh, it so does. It yeah. is very, very left leaning. Be nice girl. Uh, be nice girls. <laughs> we're not really fighting. No, we're not fighting. I think you guys know if you've been here a year, you guys have. You guys know that this isn't fighting. This is twin talk. Twin talk. Yes. That's just the way twins talk. Then they, I hate you. <laughs> no, then they actually did go to New York. We had to actually make a three parter on this because there was so much to cover. Um, the first day they go to the uh, school and that guy had the guy, one of the co-founders of the school had this sour puss look on his face the whole time because he was not happy. He knew he had to, to say what he had to yeah, say. Yeah, he was not happy. He, but, but, the, but that's the thing about these grifts. You bring in a check for whatever, $5,000, $10,000, okay? That's the problem with these grifts is that then the money, that $10,000, yeah, that's gonna buy some computers for these kids, for these yeah. college kids, okay? The problem is you're gonna have to pull a Kardashian where where uh, Harvard, remember Harvard, Harvard Business School brought Kim Kardashian uh, to speak? You guys, that's just money coming in that they needed for her to show her face. And that's exactly what Megan and Harry are doing with it, with this particular yeah. college. It's just so it's the same grift over yeah. and but over. Everybody knows. And that's why they're not, and that's why nothing's sticking and that they're completely toxic. But, but that guy was funny. That guy was, I wish you had the video I know. Well, go guy. back and watch. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, if I had done every clip from every video, no, I, I would that. have, but I, that guy was yeah, funny, no. man. He was like, <laughs> He, he was like, no. Um, okay. So, so the part two of it was them going um, around the block, taking a motorcade, going around the block from um, 
they went to Hudson Yards from Equinox. Sorry, Marsha, I'm just going to answer this real quick. Yes, Kim Kardashian spoke at Harvard Business, Business School. School, but because the only reason she she didn't speak because she founded Five Percent of Skims or whatever she does. Yes, Lizzie. Or it has her failed makeup line. She spoke because her agency gave the money, and that's called a pay to play. Can you hand me that blanket, ladies? Oh please. yeah. Sorry, late. My dog, Lady's laying right here, and she's oh, okay. There you go, babe. Okay. She likes to be covered in tons of blankets. <laughs> Someone has the heater again. No, Luna's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then um, then there was the panel. The panel was awful. What, what she was wore that? was inappropriate to be in front of parents who have lost their what, children. What was this for again? This was Project Healthy Minds. That's with right. Carson that's right. Daly in New right. York. And this is the this is uh this is when the war broke out uh in Gaza and and um Anderson Cooper was supposed to go to this thing with them and moderate or something or do something. He was I don't know. part of it. He was part of it. But he ended up having to go to um he went to Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. And uh God bless him for that. Uh, uh th this was one of those things where, oh well the COVID happened or the Queen passed away. Well unfortunately no. there was a terrorist attack in Israel and that, that week sucked. and it totally ruined their clout for the whole week. So they had to kind of be a little monotone that week. Yeah. yeah. But she wore that outfit and it was just so inappropriate. Carson Daly. It was it awful. Was just, and, and, and then Harry didn't speak. He just looked on. He was like, remember he had a panic attack. He looked very uncomfortable. He was sweating. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So again, guys, this has all been one year. Do you guys do you guys see where I'm coming from now when I was putting this together last night? I can't believe this has only been a year. Lisa, I'll do that. What? When, if we're on Royal Mess again. We're gonna do, we we're are. Gonna do Yesterday, it. Yesterday, um, we, we had our do dogs, it. our dogs uh had their uh wellness checks. Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy week, but we will definitely be on that. And I will ask Tom Markle Jr. uh about his niece Ashley. There's a lot of things I wanted to ask, but it was our first show with them. So yeah. I was like, uh I was so, walking on eggshells I was, a little bit, but I was, now I feel comfortable. Yeah. to ask him anything i was like um i just couldn't believe i saw both of them thomas senior and thomas yeah Jr. yeah we were just like, just like oh my god, god i have so many my brain's gonna explode we yeah. have so many questions i'd love to be in the same room with them one day that would be so cool so then uh <laughs> dr carver mate comes out and he is like he's he so breakdown he has a complete mental breakdown. he is us during invictus where we were all just going nuts. Yeah. Like we didn't know what was up and what was down. And yeah. this poor doctor said he had to go and get therapy after he interviewed Prince Harry. Yeah. What? Yeah. He, it, what? it broke Dr. Mate's brain. Yeah. It broke his brain. And so this, and funny. this man was in the Holocaust. Yeah. This man was in the Holocaust and he's and, really smart. And Harry broke, broke his, his brain. brain. So then right after that, there were these weird pictures of them on he ran that into island. A, he ran into a wine barrel. He ran into he was, yeah, I forgot about yeah. that. <laughs> no, he ran into a wine barrel. It was this whole weird story. We think the pictures were taken a long time ago. There was yeah, speculation. But it turns out that uh, this had to do with Marcus merching Soho House on this particular island. Other YouTubers have done this. You can watch our episode they on it. They were merching it billionaires. All Island. Soho Island. Yes, yes, that is the appropriate um, name. Trump. Yes. So um, that was pretty funny. And then uh, she just started doing these weird pap walks. Like she did one weird in the farmer's drink. walk. Is, right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Did I say weird again? I don't no, know. it's a good drinking game. Can anyone think of another word I should say instead no, of weird? No, Someone it's use good. Someone use a thesaurus. It's, people want to get don't drunk. Have, you're drinking polar Polar seltzer right now. I know, and then people will drink when I So then um listen, it's not it's family not family guy for everyone. Family guy had to get in on the action when it came to uh South Park, that was where so they're fun. just like, we're you know, we haven't mentioned Harry and Megan. We're not gonna do a whole episode on them, but we're gonna mention them because you know they are ridiculous. And 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 uh so family guy does it. That was pretty funny. They were just like they were like just you know, satire. Then this weird picture on Halloween comes out when Ugh. King Charles and Queen Camilla are on a royal visit. So this picture comes out. Now, I still to this day 
think that is not her yeah, I don't. because she, whoever that is, is wearing mom jeans and does not have, it just looks like a nanny's body. That's just me though. It could be Ashley. Nanny's body? You said that on the other one. A what mom, does that mean? Megan has this all, I'm sorry, not a nanny's body. You said but nanny's body. I didn't mean it like that. Sorry. You mean a mom's just, nanny's body? That doesn't make you know any what? sense. Can I, can say I, normal. I'm going to say it. Normal woman's body. What? Megan has does not have a normal what? woman's body. Well, I apologize because I was trying to be nice to Megan. I was trying not to insult Megan, but in the process, I guess I insulted. That's a Nanny's. good one. Weird, cringe, bonkers. I'd say bonkers. Let me write that down. Okay, bonkers. Bonkers. Like bonkers. bonkers. Thank you, Susan. That's a good one. Beer here. Oh, I love beer. <laughs> I'm gonna drink tomorrow. Not not today, um, because because uh, this talk about breaking my brain. Putting this thing together broke my brain. <laughs> Um, then William goes to Prince William goes to Singapore for Earthshot Prize. And what does Harry do? Harry does this weird via sat or, or pre-taped message yeah. for this foundation. He wears his medals. It's just so strange. So they're just doing these, I'm sorry, bonkers. They're doing these bonkers things. <laughs> Guys, baffling. Then this happens. Then this happens. That's crazy. That was the most cringe thing I've yeah, ever she, seen. Yeah, they show in up at life. the uh, Navy. Na well, they show up at the Navy SEALs Foundation. It's not a Navy. Listen, it's it's op they opened up a gym for the for the Navy SEALs guys, and I think that was great because anything that they could do to help they those didn't open a gym. That no, no, woman no. in the in the yellow trousers opened yeah. a gym. The Navy SEALs Foundation opened up a gym in the in this. Uh, structure yeah. and I thought that was great. Yeah, and um, because anything you could do for our boys, go for it. But um, Megan and Harry showed up. Now I believe <laughs> that this was a last minute addition, man, because they got on the plane. They flew, what was it, San Diego? Yeah, it was San Diego. They flew to San Diego. Megan got in the front. She was trying to take the mic again from the poor guy. Yeah. Then um, the woman who had the big scissors, who clearly was the ceremony uh, woman, who's a bit higher up. She shit. was like the CEO. Yeah, man. She uh, couldn't see the speaker. And she actually said that to Harry. She turns over and yeah. she goes, she goes, I can't. She goes, I can't see anything, you know. And Megan's, <laughs> Megan looks over and smiles. It was weird. She looks over I mean, it was and bonkers. Smiled. It was bonkers. <laughs> okay, man. so what this story lingered, and the reason it lingered was because this woman, this fan of Megan's, posted a non photoshop picture of Megan. That and went crazy. The Sussex squad went nuts. They blamed her. They went crazy. They went bonkers. Bonkers. Okay, so this is what Megan really looks like. And um, unfortunately, when you under fluorescent lighting, I would I, listen. Listen, we, we all have had that bad lighting. Bad lighting. We've all been there. No, I don't use Botox, but we've also talked about the the veins and the lines that has been. Um, uh, what what do you call it? Um, Botox. When you get Botox, a doctor has said that when you get too much Botox, you do get those two veins in your head like that. So I think Megan's going to town with the Botox too much. And guys, Ozempic makes your skin sag. If, if you don't have any a lot of body fat to begin with, then that's what it's going to do. So Megan thinking, oh my God, everyone thinks that's what I look like, decided to go on another pap walk in the Montecito shopping area um, in those culottes. She just loves th those she, high water culottes. She pulled a Khloe Kardashian. She wanted to edit her pictures and replace yeah. them with what Google has there. So it's like, it's a Card another Kardashian move. It's a total it's like, Kardashian I'm, move. I'm going to replace it, you know? And we showed you guys in that episode how Khloe tried doing that and it didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah. So then Endgame comes out. And I guess that, that brings us to now. Endgame. Yeah. Jeez. Um, guys, we, anyone else's leg fall asleep? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Endgame has been a complete disaster for Omid, for Megan. Complete especially, failure. I don't think she thought. And she, you know what's interesting about Endgame? Megan and Harry are really not trying to distance themselves from it. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard them come out with any statements saying, 
he's wrong. What he did was was uh he's he's I not agree. right he's i agree i i agree i think that they should have come out immediately and said we have no participation in this book we have no ties to omid but the problem is they can't yeah they're yeah. liars yeah and and their mask her yeah. mask is falling because we all know that omid and her have been in the same room together and they probably have had many well they have been in the same room together with we that have a picture of that but you know what I'm yeah. saying. That's and what he him, said. He goes, yeah, we've yeah. never even been in the same room. Yeah, no, and he, and, and, and let's say Megan, liars. Megan may not be feeding him to information directly, but she's feeding whoever is feeding him information right. directly. So anyways, so Marcus then, the, Allen. Uh, so then the <laughs> variety so, red oh, carpet, this, great. this was great. Um, I, push. I did a whole slow motion on it, guys. Her, this girl came to come out. Now I heard there were talk that, this woman has been fired or she left. I don't know. That's that's talk. I don't know. They I can't all leave. I can't say they that. All so um I do have the oh I'm sorry. Here, it's right here. Um somebody said, What about Kevin Costner? I got it right here. Sorry, I didn't bring that up yet. Um yes, there was the other mic grab. This was uh honorable. <laughs> we did a whole episode on this too. Sorry, I didn't get the screen grab on that one, but here on. is her grabbing the mic. Um, I also did a slow motion on that. So anyways, this was her, uh, that was a complete red carpet disaster. Then they go to a hockey game. What the hell is Marcus doing there? I don't freaking know, but uh, it's just pathetic. It's so pathetic. It's so pathetic where they were and where yeah. they, they are now. Then, they, they could have been doing so much good in this world. Yeah. And then Kitson decides to give everybody the best Christmas gift of our life. Because if you live in LA, lived in LA or live in LA like Stephanie and I did, and you shop there, or if you know anything about uh, Kitson, is how humiliating. It's just great. Though. It's just so great. It's, it's like so having great. just your dirty laundry on the Macy's yeah. Thanksgiving windows. It's just so, so then great. So then all the, uh, the uh, lists start coming out. Yep. In, in December. Loser list. And she is less popular in the United States than Oprah, Ellen, and Bill Cosby. And Bill Cosby. And a plethora of, uh, I think, the And a other ton people. of other people that have been um, involved in essay mm -hmm. and P, the P word, too. And all, ra, the R, the R racism, word. Yes. yes. So, um, toxic work environment. Exactly. So, we did. <laughs> so, all those lists were coming out. And again, these are, you can't blame the British press for this. These are all American publications. Yeah, I mean, and we proved that. I proved that in these videos. I showed all the American publications. So we're just going back to the freedom flight where they thought they were going to be free from all this. <laughs> no, it's gotten worse. Which we know was a complete con <laughs> at the time. So then Harry has to pay $62,000 to the legal. And then, it, and then it goes back where then he, then they have to pay him, what, one hundred and eighty. I think so, yeah, And it's yeah. just going to be like this weird back and forth. He's just, he loves this bonkers back and forth. Um, I, I think, think he... I think he thinks he's in an episode of Suits. Do you <laughs> no, ever notice that? I Where it's like that. he's so out of his yeah. mind. So then there, um, Archwell decides on the same day that Princess Catherine puts out this cute video of the kids and her going to a baby bank, they decide to put out their um, Archwell impact report. Well, again, people pick it apart. It it turns out that they didn't make much impact. Go back, check it out if you haven't seen it. I can't believe this has all happened in a year. And then we find out back in November um, that ugly brown turtleneck came back out. That was a drinking game. And that, that was, was our drinking game edition. You guys seem to really like that. So we will do another drinking game when it comes to Megan and words that come out of her mouth. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and uh, that was actually fun. We got into our dad's whiskey. Canadian. Was it Canadian? It was the, I don't know. Canada but I know I, I did not feel good the next day. Brown liquor. I don't remember. Brown and, liquor. Uh, it was just a, it was a train wreck. What is it saying? Stephanie Goodwin has, thinks he's in suits. Oh, in suits. Yes. He does. He thinks he's in an episode of suits. Um, and then the Tyler Perry thing is, is a fluid story. We don't know what's going on. Yeah, we're going to keep but, digging into that yeah, one. Yeah, we're going to keep digging into that one. And then Megan decides, hey, you I'm know what? Sell fungus feet tea. I'm going to be in commercials now, too. I'm going to do this. It was a complete train wreck. We made fun of it, picked it apart. And then they ended the, uh, the season 
with um, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Now, these are old pictures of Costa Rica, but when they were put out, because she went with her yoga friend, that blonde yoga friend, and the blonde yoga friend actually put her trip up in real time. So this was, they did not spend Christmas in Costa Rica, like some people thought. Eleanor doesn't know how she's got here. Well, you're in for a ride, Eleanor. Hello, people. <laughs> You just kind of click onto it, man. Oh, man. <laughs> so, Poor Eleanor. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that that's it, guys. I mean, this has been 2023. Wow. I just can't even. And, and, talk and, about needing a drink. I mean, they, they just cannot win these two. Tomorrow, I'm not tomorrow. At midnight, we will be putting out our, and hopefully it will, I'm trying to make it a 20 minute video but um <laughs> hopefully it, no we'll, we'll, we'll cut no, it down, we'll, no we'll be nice um but uh we are going to be putting out our uh 2023 best so, pop culture moments will smith it will have everybody in there megan um, a little bit of megan coronation stuff all that stuff i'll put that out at midnight tonight and we will be in front of stephanie's uh yeah. beautiful beautiful uh mantle with all of our mom because people have asked to see those again all of our mom's possible, possible dream dreams. santa clauses yes and your tree we have one right now we have the last one okay stephanie wants to include one again i'm nervous i'm nervous to see what she's gonna bring out i'm nervous while we're waiting for her did anyone see this cool lot video did anyone see this? A person who went to Invictus put this out recently and Su a Sussex squad uh, put it up on Instagram and they said the Invictus Games founder, Prince Harry, and his gorgeous wife, Megan. OK, guys, why does she wear culottes and why? I mean, it makes her look like she's 12 years old. And why does she not press them? Oh, have we not done that one? Oh, I thought we did. No, we haven't. Oh, I thought yeah, we, we did. We did the paintbrush with dad, mom and dad. Okay, here is our uh, po last possible dream. This is my well, there mom. There were also a couple other ones that we didn't mention. This but. is my mom's um, possible dreams. La we'll do this. La did we do this I one? I thought we did it. Yeah, we did. Okay, we did. Never mind. We did. Then I guess we don't have any left. No, we do. Well, there's there's one of the dog, but you couldn't think of anything funny to do. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, no, it's I mean, what are we Stephanie say? under the bus. We'll episode. show you. We'll, yeah, we'll show you the other. Okay, let's calm down. Um, I thought okay. this was it. So, can oh, I, I guess we did. Was this our did. drunk episode? Probably? I think it was our drunk episode. It might have been our drunk episode. That's why you can't remember. Reminds me of a uh, little shop of uh, Give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell. I don't know. I think it's part of the like and subscribe. We still don't know after a year where that bell Where's is. Where's that at. bell? Yeah. Uh, we're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins. Stephanie runs that. So hopefully wow. she's keeping it up to date. Uh, oh, and then yeah. find us on Twitter X. We always appreciate it when you guys give us um ideas or show us do things that we haven't right seen now. or give us um rescue sites that we haven't um done today's uh was given to me by a friend on here and uh we've actually featured them before but i want to feature them again and the reason why is because um they are they they need some help right now guys let me take out our beautiful mugs <laughs> Here we are. Guys. We're back. Okay, guys, we will. Um, that Santa got me all messed up now. Did now I have that little shop of horror song in my head, man. What? Some be a dentist. I know. It's like annoying. <laughs> I hate that. I hate when songs get. Don't you hate that? Okay. I so hate it when you can't remember possible dreams that we've done already. Dude, we love you too. It's been a blur. We'll this see you tomorrow. Don't worry. We'll wish you guys a happy new year's tomorrow. Um, what time is it going to be in Australia so we can wake up? I know. I got to watch something. Happy new year's Eve for tomorrow. If it's already new year's Eve where you are, we love you guys. We appreciate everything. It was so much fun. 
uh, getting to know everybody. And I, and I just love making all these friends. And I just feel like we have these friendships now for years and years and years. And we're going to be friends forever. Yay. Yeah, who, who, who would have known? More. Who would have known? Um, Meghan Markle would have brought so many people. She together. really does. Yeah, she really does. I, I feel like she brought the liberal and conservative community yeah. together for sure. All right. So let's go on our uh, our dancing with Megan. Oh God! Everybody yeah. dance. Everybody yeah, I dance. I got exhausted from that. That did man. make me tired. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Where, where's this rock? <laughs> She goes like no. this. Yeah. Peace <laughs> out. Happy New Year.